Gary, a rare opportunity. You've got me asking the questions this week. Um, first of all, um, there seems to be, uh, looking at the local press, a little bit of unrest amongst people. Uh, are you aware of this? And they're, they're certainly sounding off about it. I just wonder what your thoughts were on that. I think, you know, a lot of people will have their uh, opinions on, on how we're doing. I think the thing always to remember, as we said at the end of last year, that uh, we were coming into a very, very strong league where, funny enough, most of the teams we've played at home have been teams that are ready, a Premiership ready, if you like. You know, Nottingham Forest is another one mm. that will be coming here. Wigan is another one. You know, they're all playing in Europe. And, uh, you know, we are ahead of ourselves as a club, but we're here. And, uh, you know, people will always be disappointed if their team's not winning football matches. And, uh, but what we knew was you probably wouldn't win as many as you lost at this level. Um, and then people have that chance sometimes to express their opinion and, and, and they do that. But um, all, I can, all I can do is, is give 100% try and get the players to give 100%. I think there's been some good football, very good football from our part. There's been some good tactics. We've kept ourselves in every game and given us, in most games, a chance to win it, i.e. with opportunities and that that we've created. Um, everyone knows the bad luck we had with decisions, that they've now said, yes, we should have had six more points. And then people maybe wouldn't have had such a... Uh, as bigger an opinion as they as, as they've got, as far as being disappointed. But um, yeah, listen, uh, you know the football connoisseurs they understand what's going on, and um, uh, as long as the, the the club understands the the level that we're at, um, and then the next thing everyone has to do is, as we said before, is trust the manager and the, well the management, and because we picked the team and uh, to win that a, a particular game and we see them all week, uh, we know exactly the ones that are strong, the ones that are not so strong, those that are um, shrinking violet sometimes and, and, and those that have got that mental toughness and uh, you know we have to pick a team every week accordingly but you know the boys are giving it a right go um, so we're happy with that. Uh, listen, there's always going to be somebody has a different opinion to everybody else um, hopefully the majority of people are seeing that uh, we're giving it a right go. You've not had the opportunity to field a, a particularly regular side, you, you've chopped and changed a little bit as, as we've gone along, partly injuries perhaps and, and partly you know loans coming in and what have you. Um, do you think that's having an effect or, or are you comfortable with the way that you're doing it? Um, I, don't, I don't think so, you know, I mean we could do it another way and we could have got beat five or six every week, do you yeah. know what I mean? You know, we, we are playing at that type of level. And on occasions, Middlesbrough have got four and Derby have got three, but most other games we've either won one, drawn, drawn a couple. And, you know, that little league below, if you like, um, the teams that are below halfway, they're the teams that uh, are the ones you're really competing with because the top mm. ones, are, as I say, are ready to go to the, to the Premiership. But um, you swap and change because there's niggles, there's little injuries, you bring in a what is a couple of great loans, and then you might lose them through injury mm. sometimes, which we've had. People at this level in our group lack a little bit of consistency sometimes. So how long do you keep getting it around the head with a stick before you duck? Um, you know, so we have to make that decision. How many times do you get hit with that stick before mm. we change it? And uh, and that's what we do, but. Um, you know, I'm not doing this for Gary Johnson. I'm doing this for this football club and uh, our supporters. And uh, and what we're doing is is we're learning the game at this level. Our players are learning the game at this level, and 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 we are at the stage now where they need to have learned. And uh, and we got to pick the, the players that we think are going to do the job, as opposed to just giving everybody an opportunity now. Do you think they have learnt the job? Some have, mm. and some haven't. Um, some will get uh, an, another opportunity when it comes around if they show in training that um, they've, they've worked hard and they're trying to improve their championship game, if you like. Uh, all the players here know exactly what our game is in the championship and how we want to play. Uh, they could all do seminars on it. Um, and the only way you know, they show us that they believe in it 
is uh, is to go out there and, and produce what we're asking them to produce. So if they don't, then they either don't want to do it or they can't do it. Yeah. Either way, they don't get picked. Now, I know it's been a bit frustrating for you with, with loans. I mean, particularly Fraser comes in last week, manages 20 minutes yeah. off, going back to Wigan. Yeah. Uh, um, first of all, how long is he going to be out, do you think? Well, we think, unfortunately, the Wigan game has, has come at a, an unfortunate, unfortunate time because he would probably be fit for that game. Yeah. Um, but obviously, coming from Wigan, <laughs> it, would, it would be strange if Wigan said to us, yes, you can play, and we'd have to, against them, we'd, we'd smell yeah. a rat, wouldn't we? Like, yeah. oh, they don't fancy him much. <laughs> yeah. But uh, obviously, they didn't, and they said he can't. So, his next game, or his next chance of inclusion will be Doncaster. Right, okay. Um, and then have we got any other injury niggles for, for Saturday or we got a clean bill of health? Um, we sort of got a clean bill of health. We, we've, we've worked on a few things this week and a couple of them have had slight little niggles. Um, they're certainly putting in the, the work rate for us in training and I'm hoping that that will uh, you know, present itself in the games. Um, sometimes, you know, some of them just need those. We've picked the team today, to be fair, mm. and uh, and that team should be, will be available for tomorrow. It's just tweaking the subs a little bit. Yeah. Now, um, not even Forrest, you're quoted as saying that they are a very speedy team, as Leicester were. Um, have you, I presumably you have, uh, taken steps to try and compensate for their, their pace, yeah? You've got to be aware of, at this level, the opposition's strengths. Yeah. Definitely, otherwise you get caught out. There's a lot of players that have played at this level and higher uh, often and are very experienced at this level and very clever. And uh, you know, you take Andy Reid for instance, you know, you, you, you take um, Lansbury who come from Arsenal, you know, he's had that sort of yeah. up, upbringing. Um, and and they, they've just, you know, Henderson up, up, up the top, they, they, they've got a squad of almost household championship stroke. Premiership names, and uh, it's unbelievable the squad they've got to choose from. And but they are a top team, and they are ready. All they've got to do now is get themselves in them top places, and 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 they will be back in the in the Premiership. And all we've got to do is stop them from getting those and top we, places. And we got to stop them. And uh, yeah. this is a they're always great tests for us, and you've got to enjoy these because this always shows you how close you are or how far away you are from mm. the top teams. QBR, we wasn't far away. No. Reading, we wasn't far away. No. Leicester, we wasn't far away. Um, you know, and and then when we played the teams that are in the bottom half, Sheffield Wednesday, we drew, should have won. So they tell us. Mm. Uh, Bolton, we drew, should have won. So they mm. tell us. And then obviously we beat Millwall. So mm. you know we haven't yet played that type of group yet. I class Brighton as a top half team. Mm. Um, and you know they're the games you have to learn from, and they're the ones you have to emulate, as and when your side suddenly gets it together. So do you think tomorrow's the day? Is this this going to be the home win and kick us off on the rest of the well, season? You wouldn't get a, you know, you wouldn't get a great price for us to get a result no. from the bookies, and they're no. normally pretty clever because they know where Forest are in in their championship status, and they know where we are mm. in their championship status, but. Because there's no everyone expects them to win, that gives the lads a great opportunity to go out and just show what they can do. And and, and these are the games where you've got to show what you can do to prove to yourself and to your manager and to your supporters and your board of directors that you are a championship player. And uh, and then once you are, then we can gradually build championship players around those those players and then you get more results in, in the in the long term. But um, at the moment, this group are still proving to themselves that they're championship. Some have, some haven't. But we're always in with a chance because of our work rate and because of our willingness to be organised.